Well, hello everybody. Welcome to our game of the week. High school football season is here. We've been waiting all along. We're here at Lowry Field as the French Tigers will take on the Coronado Mustangs in our KLBK Blitz game of the week. Now, joining alongside me is KLBK sports reporter Lauren Cottrell. Lauren, we've talked about it all year long. This is your first time with us for West Texas High School football. How excited are you for the season? I am so excited, Ariel. Now, I grew up in Texas, so I kind of know this Friday night lights thing or Thursday night lights for tonight's purposes. But this West Texas feel is unlike anything I have ever seen. And they have made that West Texas toughness apparent throughout the past couple months that I've been here. And I'm so excited to see it shine on the field tonight. You know, I'm super excited. We have our special friends behind us. We have the Coronado Mustangs cheer squad and the Friendship Tigers cheer squad along with us. But first, we're going to start with our game of the week coverage. We're going to start with the visiting team, the Friendship Tigers, who you know, they're coming into this, their 6A district, the top in the classification in the state with size and speed, which they plan on to use tonight. The one thing you can expect from the Tigers is that size aspect as their offense is going to be super fast, super gritty, and super speedy. And that starts with the receivers room with Tate Fields leading that front as he has size, experience, and all that good stuff. We're also keep an eye on that offensive line unit this season as they are very young in that area. But the center, Isaiah Kemna, who hands down is definitely one of the best offensive linemen in the state, will bring physicality and leadership into that room. Also keep in mind, offense like defense is going to be physical and fast, and that is led by the Tigers' Kobe Ayers, who has that varsity experience, and they're going to bring that physicality and grit to the Tigers' defense. Now, what's finally your head coach, Jay Norcutt, has said the biggest thing for them tonight is going to be taking care of business early, and that means getting right down to business and taking it from the very first snap. Well, Coronado is an explosive team on offense. They've got a lot of speed. Uh, Jet Carroll, their quarterback, you know, he's got 12 games under his belt now, and, and I think that really showed in the scrimmages, you know, that they've had. Um, and so we've got to not give up the big play, you know. we just got to play discipline assignment football. We've got to tackle. We've got to be physical. One kind of saying around here that doesn't quite – or that we use around here that doesn't quite sound right at first is – we talk about how you really don't rise to the occasion. You fall back to the level of your training, you know. And so what we mean by that is usually when you get into a situation where it's live, you know, and we like to kind of phrase that as the bullets are flying, you're, you're going to end up performing at the level of what you've had in practice, you know. And so hopefully we've taken care of those things in practice and, and we've learned from the first outing against Ryder and we'll be better in that area. Taking a look at the home team now, the Coronado Mustangs are going into their second season under the direction of head coach DJ Mann. And after this long offseason, they are focused and ready to get this season going tonight with their first matchup of the season against the Friendship Tigers. Now, the Mustangs did fall to the Tigers in the 2021 season. It did not come out of that season the way that they might have hoped, finishing with a record of 7-5. and five. But head coach DJ Mann said this morning at the LIS LISD luncheon, quote, they did not bring me here to be average end quote that being said while the mustangs have lost some big guys this offseason some guys to look out for this evening our starting quarterback jet carroll who threw for 3100 yards last year and is looking to break 4000 this season and the other half of the duo four-year starter wide receiver ted gilmore but on the other side of the ball, that seems to be what fans can really look forward to tonight as Coach Mann said he's been extremely proud of his defense and that they are a great asset to this year's team. And at the head of it is Texas Tech commit John Curry. As for the team as a whole, Coach Mann said tonight's game will definitely be a challenge for his Mustangs as friendship is one classification above Coronado. However, the Mustangs are going into tonight with a chip on their shoulder as these guys aren't just going to be fighting for their school, but Lubbock ISD as a whole we're very confident right now we have a lot of senior leaders that, that have helped the young kids um, better understand what they're getting themselves into tonight stopping the run is very important making sure we do a good job at the screen game and taking away the deep ball you know if we can do those things they have really good receivers they have a young quarterback that can make plays uh, coach Northcutt so is a wizard when it comes to offense so it's a big test for our defense tonight. It would not only be big for the Coronado community, but the entire Lubbock community. Um, you know, we, we want to get our respect. We feel like we are a very high quality school district. And we just want to show that we play good football and we have good people all around. Lots of good stuff right there. Right again, the game. this game will kick off right here at Lowry Field at 7.05 p.m. And, you know, we have our cheer squad behind us. The fans are starting to pile in. So definitely this makes things more real here, Matt. And Zach is to see it's finally here, and I'm super excited for this season. And Lauren is as well. Absolutely. 
Well, ladies, we just have to know, typically with these teams, when there's a new season, there's a new tradition or motto. So I'm assuming that's the case with Friendship and Coronado this year, right? That is absolutely right, Matt. And Coronado's head coach, DJ Mann, is a big believer in Ohana, which means family, and said that as long as he is at the head of the Coronado football team, that that motto is not going anywhere. But they did add a new motto this season, and I think it's really cool. It's 333. 333 miles is the exact distance from the Coronado parking lot to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, which is where the Texas High School State Championship is held every year. What a great motivation for them. As for some sort of chain or belt that they might have, yeah. we'll, 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 have have to, we'll have to wait we'll to have see to what see. they have up their sleeve yeah, tonight. Coach Man said it will be a surprise when they do walk out, but let's talk about the French of Tigers here. Their motto is going to be the same this year. The senior offensive lineman, Isaiah Kemna, came to Coach Norcutt last year and said, hey, I am from Hawaii. I want to say a ku mau mau, which means we stand together as one, and that's something that they do when they run out of the tunnel. They do some sort of hookah. It's not really a hookah, but, you know, some sort of dance and stuff to get them fired up. So definitely expect to see that as well for the French of Tiger side. But also right here at Lowry Field, 30 minutes prior to kickoff, they will be playing the theme song Friday Night Lights. As we all know, former Lubbock ISD athletic director Gary Gaines, you know, who was, you know, Friday Night Lights was about him. Allegedly. is Also, that would be played in his memorial. So they'll be starting to do that as well. But Matt, I mean, just thinking about it gives me chills. Again, we're about 30 minutes away from kickoff to highlights tonight at 10. So sign off from your KLBK Sports Connection True and our lovely cheerleader friends here. <laughs> we're going to toss it back to you guys at the studio. Enjoy the game, ladies. Thank you very much. We'll see you.